Welcome to the presentation of Brinkeroff's Success Case Method. This presentation was compiled by Amber Coppola Wade, Paul Gallagher, and Jose Rivas as a part of IT7150. Before we get into the method itself, let me introduce you to the creator of the method, Dr. Robert Brinkeroff. He is a professor emeritus at Michigan's own Western Michigan University. He has spent his entire career working in evaluation, beginning in the U.S. Navy. Currently, he continues to spread his knowledge of evaluation through keynote speeches, books, and as a consultant for many Fortune 500 companies. Now let's get into what is Brinkeroff Success Case, Case Method, a.k.a. SCM. The SCM was designed to examine training outcomes in a very broad manner in comparison to formal models like Kirkpatrick's. Brinkeroff addresses one of the critiques of Kirkpatrick's model. Performance results can't be achieved by training alone. Therefore, training should not be the object of evaluation. And this is on page 87 of his book. According to Brinkeroff, this is like saying that the success of a marriage depends on the quality of the wedding ceremony, which we know is not true. The SCM attempts to understand the success of training in the context of the whole performance environment and not limit understanding to training alone. Additionally, the SCM considers other factors such as managerial support and collaboration, for example. This is for good reason. In the SCM, we focus on results important to the decision makers, simplicity, accuracy, and fast results. This method identifies factors in the performance environment that are working, not working, what has been achieved, and what can be done in the future. This method is focused on business and professional use, not reliant on experimental design, frameworks, deep expertise, and control groups. Now that we have an idea of what Brinkeroff's success case method is, let's look at the process. The SCM is a qualitative tool based on an analysis of extreme groups, successful and unsuccessful adopters. This method is not focused on average adopters. When utilizing the method, you will focus on three questions. How well is the organization using learning to drive needed performance improvement? What is our organization doing that facilitates performance improvement from learning? What needs to be ma uh, maintained and strengthened? And what is our organization doing or not doing that impedes performance improvement from learning? What needs to change? Here we have a flow map that reviews the process. It all starts with the results at the top. The feedback from the trainees goes to management and trainers for different purposes. Management is looking at the bottom line, while trainers are looking at how the training is linked to needs and integration. Both management and trainers are then looking at where we can improve. Both lead to the outcome of enhanced capability to leverage business results from learning investments. This process uses self-evaluation survey that focuses on the level of a new method and tools from training. Basically, trainees are answering the question, how well did the training work? The respondents are then sorted to extract those who report being the most and at least successful. For teachers in our class, this may remind you of closing the gap, looking at your highest and lowest achieving students. Now that we have some extreme cases extracted, a random sample is selected and interviewed. For those that felt the training was successful, we would ask, what was used, when, how, where, and why, and what results were accomplished, and the value. For those who felt training was unsuccessful, we will look at the environmental factors and barriers. The results are communicated as stories in narrative fashion, utilizing the most illuminating examples. 
The success case method does not make the same assumptions as other performance systems make. Thinking, learning, and performance are our tie. Context is important to apply proper training. Content is not as important as performance. In practice, the success case method is looking for success and the lack thereof. We're looking at successful training as being evaluated in order to make changes and achieve improvement throughout an organization. Unsuccessful training is analyzed in context to identify obstacles and understand the qualitative methods that can be applied in future training. You interpret the data collected in order to access strengths and weaknesses by identifying successful and unsuccessful participants. If you go down to the left, successfully trained participants yields information about what worked. This is applied to other cases in similar fashion. To the right, unsuccessfully trained participants yield information about barriers in the performance system, identify factors that impede success, and make changes in future training. With any method or process, we will have strengths and weaknesses. The Brinkerhoff success case method is no different. Let's start with the positives. Some of the strengths of the success case method include the fact that it is simple and easy to conduct. The SCM does not require formal assessment techniques. It also takes a holistic approach that includes casual factors beyond just the training environment. The SCM considers managerial support, lack of availability, and things of that nature. The SCM increases the likelihood that the evaluation will be conducted because it's quick and inexpensive. Since the evaluation looks at purposeful sampling rather than random, it collects information that would have been miss, missed if you're only looking at the averages. Now that we've taken a look at the positives, let's review some of the weaknesses of the success case method. This method is qualitative and self-reporting. The SCM is based on stories that may feed managerial action, but is biased against larger scale results. This method only provides extreme examples and ignores the average results. Some people have also, also have questions about validity and rigor of the Brinkerhoff success case method. Here are the sources we, that were used to put this presentation together. Our team is looking forward to facilitating a discussion in the Brinkerhoff success case method this week. Thank you.